We get another stock query in now. Preeti writes to us from Bangalore and she wants to invest 5,000 rupees, preferably in the banking sector. She wants some advice on the same. Mayuresh, what would you advise Preeti? She has 5,000 rupees. Would you advise her to buy a lot of one stock or maybe diversify a little and buy maybe a couple of shares of different uh, banking stocks? And also a lot of the PSU banks are extremely cheap at this time. Uh, would you recommend her to possibly dip into a couple of them? Oh, yes, Ekta. I think uh, a mix of uh, both would be a preferred uh, uh, strategy. And clearly, I think out of the two, I think uh, State Bank within the PSU space, how the amount she can allocate uh, towards that stock. Uh, now, the performance has been mixed. So I think the cross slippages came uh, to a 12 quarter low. I think the restructuring of the books uh, was significantly higher. And again, I think the kind of uh, balance sheet that State Bank has, uh, uh, it will be uh, it will be very prudent to assume that in terms of valuations, uh, the balance sheet growth should be quite stupendous over the next couple of years. Uh, the net stress loan ratio at 6.4, uh, the CET1, the core capital adequacy ratio at 9.5%, uh, the retail deposits make 95%, uh, so I think it's got a strong liability franchise as well. And credit growth should start picking up over the next couple of quarters. So I think it's got a strong balance sheet within the PSU pack. And again, valuation is extremely attractive at around 0.9 times price to book FY17 earnings. So clearly, I think the ROE is that are expected at around 14-15% uh, should come through over the next couple of years, which holds the bank in good stead. Similarly, I think on the private side, ICICI Bank is something that uh, we continue to like along with Axis uh, and yes. Uh, so for ICICI, I think uh, the numbers again have uh, been a tad bit disappointing and the asset quality, the gross net asset ratio came at 3.78%. 3 uh, the net asset ratio slipped around 1.61%. But again, the management commentary was extremely positive. Uh, so I think the management outlook generally for the business in terms of credit growth, curtailing of their uh, operating costs and credit costs being curtailed at sustainable levels along with their balance sheet size and along with their branch network. I think that should aid uh, uh, the f and then fuel the balance sheet growth going forward. Again, capital adequacy at 12.9% is a significantly higher than most PSU banks, which would aid uh, balance sheet expansion. So I think the ROE is at around 16%, uh, uh, ROE is close to 1.8, and on a price to book of around 1.2 FI17 earnings, I think it looks extremely uh, uh, attractively valued. So again, I think uh, ICICI with a target of 394 and State Bank with a target of 340 is something that I'll suggest uh, with a time horizon of 12 months. All right, that's uh, the word coming in from my.